Welcome to Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. I'm Mary Winkenwarder. We prepare for ac many activities in life on a daily basis. The bigger the event, the more preparation needed. Sometimes the obvious can be overlooked. When this happens, situations become something we did not expect. This also applies to preparing for any type of physical altering surgery. Joining us this episode is Dr. Jason Altman to share with us more about preparing a physical checklist before having plastic surgery procedures. Dr. Altman, welcome to Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you join us. So when preparing for plastic surgery, what does one need to keep in mind? So it's, you know, one of the things that's very easy to forget when thinking about plastic surgery because it is all about feeling and looking good is people often forget that it is still real surgery and it involves the risks that any other operation would have. So you need to take care of your health primarily. You want to Make sure you avoid exposure to people who may be sick that you could get exposed to. You want to maintain your vitamin levels, your hydration. Certainly want to avoid smoking. Um, ideally, uh, you want to quit smoking if you are a smoker a full month before your procedure. Uh, and you want to make all these positive lifestyle changes and maintain them after your surgery as well to maximize your recovery. So how detailed of um, a research should one conduct before having plastic surgery? Well, I think uh, most of your research uh, should be conducted in with discussions with your plastic surgeon. Um, one of the things I always tell my patients is they're very savvy and, and they come in having done a lot of preliminary research on the internet. The danger of that being that there's no censor on the internet, there's no editor on the internet, and anyone and everyone can write anything they want. Um, by all means, it's a good idea to prepare and bring questions from the internet to your doctor, but at the end of the day, the doctor you trust should be the doctor you're listening to, and a board-certified plastic surgeon should be able to help you sift through the facts and the myths of all that information that's out there. Absolutely. So should a family member uh, or close friend be involved in preparing for this type of major surgery, and at what capacity? Great. I think the answer is yes, uh, and the question about capacity is excellent. Um, I think it's always great to bring a friend or a loved one with you to the consultation, um, both because they may offer insights into questions you may not have thought of, and also many of the patients are so excited at their consultation and they're receiving so much information, it's often very easy to forget or miss out on some of it, and having someone there can often help recollect. The flip side to that is I'm very adamant uh, that my patients are making their decisions about having cosmetic surgery and about what to have based on their own feelings, and they really shouldn't let their friends and family influence those decisions. Okay, so when coming home from a plastic surgery, what accommodations should your home have? Uh, this is gonna depend very much on what type of surgery you're having, whether it's mainly facial surgery or body surgery, um, but the most important things are gonna be somewhere comfortable for you to sleep that night. Um, many of my patients find the most comfortable place to sleep the first few nights is in a reclining chair, much more so than a bed. Um, if that's on the first floor without having any stairs around, that's going to be really helpful as well. Uh, and you want to make sure you have all the basic needs you're going to have that you don't have to run out to the store to get your milk or get your groceries. You want to make sure you have plenty of fluids and nice, easy to eat foods in the house. And we insist that our patients have someone with them for at least the first 24 hours after surgery to help with all these things as well. Great. Dr. Altman, where can we catch up with you online? Uh, you can visit the website of our practice, the Plastic Surgery Institute of Miami. 
at www.plasticsurgeryinstitutemiami.com or simply psimiami.com. All right, Dr. Altman, thanks so much for joining us. It's been great having you on the show. It was my pleasure, Mary. Thank you. All right, catch up with me on my blog, www.beautybeautyreport.com, and on Twitter at Beauty Publicist. Everyone, thanks so much for joining us on Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. Have a beautiful and successful week. Mwah.